friends welcome back to my channel my messy table um i have been playing so much you guys know i'm on erica's design team and i just shared her haul video and in that haul video i shared a matchbook um design which i'll be doing the tutorial today so you guys know to head over to erica's shop if you want to pick this up because you will need it for this project um and you can get 10 percent off with my discount code mwalker10 and i'll link it in the description box um but hashtag scrap diva designs gets you lots and lots of cool ideas and everybody's got the new design packages so you're gonna see a lot more um goody stuff coming out soon because the girls are killing it killing it okay so for the box um the match box you'll need 110 pound paper because it's sturdy and once you layer up the um like your printed paper, it makes it even, you know, thicker. And so it's a good sturdy box. Um, I, you're going to need to cut out two of just the regular rabbits, which is just the regular outline. And then for your decorative is where you will use um, the stitching one. Or if you want to make a shaker out of it, you can use the shaker element to it. I'm going to stick with this one for the sake of this video because shakers are not my most favorite thing to make. Um, I just don't have the patience for the acetate, I'm not gonna lie, but I love shakers, they're so awesome. So um, you're gonna need two of these for the front and back, and then your box is going to be um, uh, the same 110 pound cardstock, and you're going to cut it four and one fourth by six and seven eighths. I'm gonna call these horizontal and vertical lines. Your vertical lines are gonna be, um, one inch in so it'll be at one inch and then five and seven eighths or you could just when you go to score just flip your paper over and score so this is what i'm doing and then your that's for your box now for this piece here you're going to need these two little strips which i've done on this side and it's going to be um two and um one eighth by four and seven eighths. So as you can see, I have my two pieces there and then I'm going to just do half an inch from both sides, which I started to do and I said I was gonna do it on video so you guys can see um, that you just turn it over and done. Okay, and then you're gonna fold them. Now, if you want to add stitching, now's the time to cut up your decorative paper and stitch. I'm not gonna stitch for this. Um, for this one because um, my machine is always keeps acting up. It works for a little bit and then it doesn't want to. Okay, so next you're going to fold up your box, which I already started. Okay, and then for your box, it's just gonna be your typical box. I'm just going to um, keep this one. Actually, if you can see the little line, I'm gonna cut right on the edge of it. And then I'm gonna do just a tiny little bit of an angle there. And then that way when it when you glue it down this is nice and um, straight and then your angle back here is, is going to be a little bit off the edge so it doesn't clip the um, box the edge there and you'll do that all the way around so i'm gonna do that real quick And then, like I said, if when you add your decorative you, and you want to do stitching right now, it would probably good, be good to stitch. And you could also line the inside if you want. I was thinking about that because when you add, when I add, you don't have to add this little string, um, but I did, and I just glued the and the inside there, and so it kind of doesn't look that great. And I didn't think about that until after. And this was just my, you know, protege playing around. So I might go and cover the hole now you don't have to add the little pull um, part there you could just leave it as is okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue these edges so your box is going to be ready i'm not adding actually you know what i wanted to add some there because i noticed on the other one and you're just going to do that there my boxes are not perfect. They never line up. Somehow I missed the, the marks. I don't know. I try. Oop. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Okay. And you could use little clips to hold it too. I don't. 
This glue dries pretty fast. I can't remember what it's called. Art glitter glue or something like that. I don't know. I found it on, um, oh my gosh, Amazon G Bus. Although, you're not going to say that bear, I need to get some barely art glue. That stuff's pretty good. I bought some a while ago and then finished it and for some reason never went back and got more. Okay. Almost done here. You guys can probably fast forward this part. Just gluing the box. Okay. So that box is done. Now what you're going to do is I eyeballed where to put these. But I cut them and measured them so that they would line up right on the edge here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a ruler. And since I know, where's my line, that it is the 4 and 7 eighths, I'm going to go like this right at the edge there. But I'm going to line this up here so it's straight with my mat. And then I'm going to keep my ruler at four and seven eighths and I'm gonna find that edge because I want to keep it straight actually I'm gonna do it like this watch right about there I think uh okay and then I'm gonna keep my ruler right on the edge of that five and seven eighths right there nope where is it ah uh, okay right there and I can see that it is about straight. Now I'm going to get a pencil, which I have here. I'm going to try to draw a little line. Because it's going to go there, like that. You see? So I'm going to do this little tiny line. So I know that's where my guide to glue down is going to be at. So I'm going to glue this right there. Right there. So it lines up right at the edge. And it keeps a straight um glued down straight because this one kind of went a little off there and I was gluing at night and so my eyesight wasn't the best. <laughs> That's how I roll in the middle of the night. Now you don't have to do this. You can just eyeball it. I think that once you start crafting, like you kind of get an idea of where to glue. That's about good right there. Ish, just to stay in front of that one right there that's perfect and then your box will slide in there like that as you can see perfect perfect now i'm going to do this one so i can see the other side when i go to line it up Ooh. right at the edgy edge there right there Slightly. Slightly. Don't want to leave anything there. Ah. Now you guys, um, if you want to stitch on the bunny too, probably do that before. Um, if you want to make it like stick to this, you would probably do that now before you glue down this matchbook part. Now it's time to glue, so I'm going to glue. Did I tell you guys the measurements for these? Probably not. Okay, so for this one, you're going to do two eighths, two and one eighths by four and seven eighths. I'm going to, I'll write it in the description box. So right now, too, if you want to do some stitching to add um, the inner piece layer, you could do that. And those pieces are going to be seven eighths by four and five eighths. That's what's going to fit in here. Um, that's this size here. Or you could do what I did because I didn't measure the first time I did it. And all I did was um, bring my sheet of paper, right? Like, let me see. Here's um, one that I'm going to be using. I just did kind of like this, you know, where you line it up and kind of do this and then do that. That's how I measure, okay? That's, and it turns out right. <laughs> but because I'm doing a tutorial, I'm giving you guys measurements. And I'll write the... Um, the measurements in the description box for you guys okay so next we're gonna do this real quick let's glue it down just add um this glue doesn't need a lot but 
can never go wrong with too much glue, right? And then you're just gonna take your and lines and line it up right there. And it's right there. Okay, that one's done there. And then we'll do the other side. Sorry, I keep going out of frame. Force a habit. Okay, this one I'm gonna line up there first at the base, and then I'm gonna bring this down there like that. Okay, and there's your base of your matchbook. And see how your box is gonna fit nicely in there? Boom. Ooh, this one's even nicer. Look at that. Okay. <sighs> okay. Then I'm gonna make sure that's down. And Ooh, now I'm gonna do this one. Am I in frame? I hope I'm in frame. Do, do, do. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this one like this, and I'm just gonna find my line and then just bring it there like that and turn it around so that I could see. Just need to move up a little bit, just a smidge. There we go. Now before I glue it down, it's just a little bit off. I think I can erase that. Okay, so it's seen just a little bit. Okay. That wasn't perfect, but it'll work. If somebody has a better way of doing this, like creating the actual matchbox and then doing it, that might work too. So don't feel obligated to try this out if it's not working for you. I'm just, this is what my brain came up with. And I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to create the matchbox. Like, I just was trying to use up the scraps of my 12 by 12 sheet that I had and thought, oh, this is easy there and that's it done and now your box slides in and out right there perfecto see that looks so much better than that one and there you go perfect okay now i'll come back and show how i decorate mine so here are my two pieces that I'm gonna use to cover this. I've already started to add some glue and forgot I needed to record this part. My goodness, you guys, I swear, I am not good at tutorials. I just wanna make stuff and then just share a picture of it. Um, sorry for my lack of videoing skills. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's good. Okay, now I could have done this before, but I just wanted to keep it simple. Um, with showing you guys how to glue down the box. So now I'm gonna decorate it. This one's gonna be kind of simple. And then I thought this was so cute. So for this paper pad, I used um, this guy here, the Gather. Um, I've had a stash of those because Joanne's was getting rid of them. And so I bought up a ton of those. I almost thought about selling them on um, Merikai because I like that app. But then I was like, oh, my paper pads, I can't get rid of them. And I didn't. <laughs> my hoarder status just can't let me let go of this paper. I have so much paper, it's ridiculous. I hope that my house never burns down because if it does, we will be here for a while with as much paper as I have. Okay, I thought it'd be so cute to add this to the back. Isn't that adorable? Ugh. I can't sometimes with myself. Okay, so that one's done. Now I'm gonna come back and show you kind of what I added there because what I'm, I gotta cut it down and I'm being, let's see. I have the leftover pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them down to size. I was gonna stop the video, but I think I'm just gonna power through. Okay, so the inner strip for this is gonna be seven eighths by, um, what is it four and five eighths so i'm just gonna trim this down real quick uh seven eighths is gonna be i can't tell by this one so right now i'm just cutting the strips 
because it's scraps. So I'm like, just gonna do that, I think. Okay, now I'm gonna get my big one out. I use a random variety of them, you guys. I have this one out right now. It's not my favorite, but for right now it works. So right now I'm gonna need to do one that is seven eighths, which is like about right here. So I'm gonna eyeball it and say that looks about good there. Ow. E okay, there we go. And we're gonna cut that strip and then it's gonna be four and five eighths. So I'm gonna have to Beep, 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 beep. My table is a hot mess, but this is how I work, you guys. It's horrible. Five eights. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, right here ish. Give or take right there. I think that's it. That's seven eights. Yeah, five eights right there. So I start talking to myself. Let's see. Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? No, I got it. It's about good right there. I'm just going to do that right there. So. That's one. Now we're going to do this one next. Right there. Shh. I think my favorite cutter is the cutter pillar. That one is really good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cheat because my eyesight is horrible. And I'm going to just do the little indentation there so I know I'm such a cheater sometimes <laughs> I'm a lazy crafter I'm lazy and I'm messy guys lazy and messy okay so now you're just going to glue it down there okay that's all I'm gonna do let's take this box out for now super simple nothing crazy I like this is how I get rid of my scraps sometimes by adding them although I do end up with a lot a lot of scraps that I don't know what I want to do with them so I've been die cutting pieces random with my punches. Eee! That's a little off. I could live with that one though. Okay. Okay, there's that one. Now we're gonna do this one. Okay. And we're going to glue that there. About there. Eee! It's right in the middle there. Okay, all done with that box, okay? Okay, for the sake of the video, I pre-cut these out. And for this box, the inner layer pieces, it's gonna you're gonna need two. And this one's gonna be seven eighths by four and three quarters. And then the smaller ones for the edges is gonna be two um, one eighths by, again, seven eighths. And so we'll just glue those on. Okay, friends, here's our box completed with all the um, layering and our pieces there. And then the back, I love the back. Okay, now left is to decorate. So I'm going to kind of do a fast little time lapse on how I decorate. Okay, friends, here it is all done up. I kept it kind of simple. I added this little felt bunny from Michael's. I think it's like a couple years ago, like two, three years ago. And then um, I added some of my ephemera that I've had forever. That's, I think, Flourish might be it or Gather. I don't know. It's one of her flower, um, Maggie Holmes um, flower ephemera kit. And then you saw that I... Added a little bit of Distress Oxide ink. It was the velvet, um, Victorian velvet. And then the bloom comes from Erica Spring Words number two. And then I added stickers from the Maggie Holmes um, sticker book. Now the cute little charms, look at that. I just got these and I knew that I was gonna add black because the little face um, is outlined in black. So I thought it'd be perfect to add it to a little black bottle cap. And then I added some um, pink and white colored um, charms that are also from Happy Crafter Shop. I will link them in the description box. And here we go, all done guys. I left that blank 
I think I'm, I might add a little, I need to find some ribbon or yarn that matches this color so that I can make a little pom-pom and put it back here. How cute though. And your matchbox is ready to go to add whatever you want. And then I want to show you guys this memory decks card that I created. I kept it really simple, mainly because what I was trying to showcase <laughs> was how um, easy you can make a little memory decks card with the bunny. I just used the um, punch that I have. That's the Heidi Swap memory decks punch. And I added that, but I was playing with the flowers and um, I ended up making them more like inward instead of outward like this one. And then this is just an old sticker from Pebbles, like old, old, like I'm talking almost 20 years old. I still had it in my um, stash, but I did that outline because I don't know if you guys noticed that when you cut out the bunny, it leaves these guys here. Look at this. This is... A project I'm working on I've got a couple other ones cut up and I'm working on them these are the ones that I'm still need to do but tell me this isn't a peeps how cute is this so I'm gonna create something with these the inside and it's the leftover residual of the shaker die but I um, cut and left this part here and then just layered up the pretty paper that I have in the background but look at these charms aren't they so cute I just put them together <laughs> I was playing last night. How cute is this? The bow, the little um, pumpkin um, beads, the flower ones, and then here's the little bow. It looks like a butterfly actually instead of a bow. I was looking at it. I was like, hmm, that kind of looks more like a butterfly. But these are all from Happy Crafter Shop, so I'm excited to play with those and add them to my pieces. But how simple and cute is this? And then I did what uh, Melissa, Melissa, ugh! gosh I cannot talk Meliza did um where she added the little beads uh, they are the colorful um no hole beads and it's a hundred piece which is actually a really good amount and I added them to my flowers I thought that was such a good idea because I did do a cute little um bottle that I'm gonna make into a charm I'm just waiting for the little um screw pins to come in so that I can make my little charms but they're so cute adorable so thank you guys for watching i hope that you guys are inspired and create something similar or your own with my idea um that's the whole reason for creating tutorials so that you put your own spin on it um i will list all this stuff in the description box and if you guys want to head over to erica's shop or to um lisa's shop i will link that in the description but don't forget to check out the hashtag um, Scrap Diva Designs and also hashtag um, Happy Crafter Shop because you'll get lots of ideas on how to put together your little um, kits and your dies or just ideas to be inspired. So thank you guys for watching and I will come back with some more tutorials. Bye!